Okay. Climbing over it with the beheaded. We even have some special uh, sound to go along with this. Hope you all enjoy. I did not test any of this. And chances are this is going to be like actually broken. I hope it's not though. Again, shout outs to Blargle. Blargle is the one who came up with this. Uh, if you are on like Dead Cells Discord or in the speedrunner community, uh, you may know Blargle. If you're in this room, you either beat the game, somehow died while more than halfway through, or just started but didn't read the instructions. If you beat the game, congrats. There's literally no reward. If you've died more than halfway through, slow the heck down. There's literally no reason to die with how much healing I give you. If you just started and have no idea why you're here, you have to play on a new save with nothing unlocked. <laughs> I did not read the instructions, apparently. Yeah, so we're gonna show what is Dead Cells climbing over it. Okay. Yeah, so Dead Cells climbing over it. It is a... Oh, apparently you can't go in that. It is a mod where there's no combat. Uh, nothing of that sort. All you're doing is climbing. Just like getting over it. Just like Jump King. Just like, um, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, is it gonna be fun? I hope so. Um, so what I wanted to do, and where I got this idea from, I had to get this from Lyric. There's no way I came up with this by myself. Okay. Or my daughter what are we watching? Player. There's nobody that can beat her. This or is a confidence a foot, TED talk. Really, really great in the air and can head every ball. I'm like, yeah, not bad. There's but no the way I already game, can't do the this. I'm for. The most is there wall thing. running? No so wall run. Without that skill, and I use the word skill intentionally, without that skill, we are useless as a soccer player. Because when you what on earth? Yourself, we're done for. <laughs> the definition of self Go to some of man Super low on shadow points. Highlight every message. Is that the new copy pasta? There we go. No matter the odds, Yo, let's no go. Odds, All right. No matter the adversity, the belief that you can accomplish it. The belief you can accomplish anything, chat. I believe it can be trained. And I'll show you a couple of ways. Which Is there skill? I won't run out of time. I don't use any slides because my I don't know. speech always goes here, here, or here. So we'll see which way we get to. The easiest way to build self-confidence. There's no magic button. I can't say hey, this plane is going down. Who can fly it? Put your hand up. I this can. is going to be actually something interesting. Okay. <laughs> repetition. Repetition. Like, I don't even know how I did the first one. I think it's just perfectly placed. Hey, I'm sounding good. And then I read in front of my kid. What's in the background? It's supposed to be a TED talk. I won't have a single ounce of nervousness. Because there we go. It's a TED talk about right? over, confidence. Over over the problem with repetition. How many of fail after the first bit of adversity? Okay, easy Edison clap. On that video. And depends who you ask. There's anywhere from 1,000 to 10,000 tries to build that light bulb. 1,000 to 10,000. <laughs> J.K. Rowling should be on that video. You know what I mean? Publish. This is gonna be two. awful, everybody. I'm pretty confident, but after two or three no's, I'd be like, dang it. After six <laughs> or seven, I'm like, maybe not. How many no's are we gonna get for this? Okay. Failure. Maybe it shouldn't be repetition. Maybe the answer should be persistence. Because I'm persistent. I swear. Few of us really will persist. So that's one way to build self-confidence. Get out there. Do what you want to do and accept no. No. Whose idea was this? No. Uh, woman, the first no wall climbing in this, by the way. And if you're a man, it's the opposite. Oh God, I have no muscle. I'm so flabby, right? We all have this take that That's me. As a student, if they ask no me muscle, question, all bones. Oh, please, don't, please, professor, don't pick me. I don't know the answer. I don't. Pick. I look down, right? If you're in the when I let me tell you something. <laughs> the VP of business admin is here, so I shouldn't repeat this. But when they hired me as an athletic, what is this? It looks fun. You think this looks fun? And I am as this is uh, the mod. Dead cells climbing over it. And they're like. The uh, fundibulator valve. Somebody the, go uh, find Blargle. There, 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 uh, what do you think, uh, Dr. Joseph? Uh, okay, there we go. Let me look into that for you and get back to you. Right? 
I was sitting there like, God, God, don't, please okay. don't ask me. Please don't ask me. We all have this negative self-talk that goes in our head. Guess what? There's enough people that are telling us we can't do it. That we're not. No one's it. saying that we can't Why do it, chat. We want to tell ourselves that. We know for a fact that thoughts influence actions. We saw it there with, the, um, with the video Sheldon, Dr. Levy showed. Right? Oh, we know no. Thoughts influence actions. Why do we want to say that negative self talk to ourselves? I have we to do to all of that. Self affirmations. Muhammad Ali, what was his self affirmation? I am the greatest. Oh, who else is going to I am the greatest to be quiet all time chat quiet moments when you're this is not a good jump though this looks awful the there's no reason that I should be in charge of the National Lake Department oh. building Maple Leaf Gardens but I am the captain of my ship and the master of my fate if but I don't say it an, an assault shield believe it no one else will how do you build self-confidence I am you not confident enough to do this First try, easy clap. Muhammad Ali, I am the greatest. You can't use your head. There is no one reminding yourself in quiet, silent moments. I put it down on the list. Oh right no. My mirror, right? About all the things that make me who I am. Oh no. I make enough mistakes, and the newspapers will recognize. I got that the first time. Right We're never gonna and get back. And be nope. Soon I'll begin to believe it. There was a time when my confidence was really low. There was a time when I took this I'm not feeling good right now, Ivan. <laughs> Ivan, what do I do? Yeah, I gotta stop the negative thoughts. Only positivity for now on. Uh, Lance Armstrong's a perfect one. What's his self affirmation? Live strong. My goodness. It was to remind him of who he was. Live strong. I like the shortcuts, though. This is actually legit. He would move that from one arm to the next arm when doubt and fear came into his mind. Live strong. Put it on there. Let's go. We'll all have it. Replace it. Can you still say the same stuff about Lance Armstrong? Worried about <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing anymore. We are coaches or educators. Okay, we gotta figure this piece out. So what do we do? I need you to put your elbow or here. I need you to put your knee over the ball. I need to follow through. Boom, land. Good I want to follow through with this. But this is like. What can we do? We fix mistakes. When I'm fixing. No wall run, Johnny. This is terrible. You need to bend your that knee. That was bad. This, this. What have I done to Johnny's self-confidence? Bend your knee. Think of this. Think of this. Next thing you know, Johnny's crushed. Johnny! No! You know what Johnny does wrong. And <laughs> Bob or Sally or Frida over here. Great goal, Frida. Oh, my you God. Your knee low, you follow through. Or like, this stuff key. isn't that you bad. Praise the positive behavior that catch them. This is, good. though. We forget it. It's simple. Here's what they did. There was a study in Kansas that did this. They did video, and we all do video, and we showed the video of them. Doing yeah, this the challenge video. riff, OP. Uh, this goal happened because the basket wasn't. I better get two scrolls for this. Right. We needed to do this, and then cover the slot, and. If that oh, I thought that was it. Improvement of the Kansas State team went like this. Then, they said they ignored all of it. Okay. That, and they just showed them Ooh. the times they did it right. The times they did it. We did it. That presented no goals. Progress. <laughs> improvement went like that. It See, just like that, chat. Improvement. We as coaches interact with our student athletes. All right. We can apply so you all know we can assault apply dash. Works. We can apply I'm going to assume that everything we have to do is an assault dash. Catch them when they're good. Last and certainly not least, my son is really good at this. Self-confident people interpret feedback. Uh, they choose to. I asked my son, who is by the far terrible, terrible athlete, gets it from his dad. Uh, they win five nothing. How was the game? Oh, uh, okay. I scored three goals. I got two assists. I'm like, I did not see him touch the puck. Here's I kind of like that section. I feel like rolling into the wall is like super original. Pegs in the square holes. We're supposed to be and when people yeah the shield makes this so much easier Thank this part is evil though oh okay <laughs> please don't let me go back what is this
It looks awful. So when I was a little girl, a book sat on the coffee table in our living room, just steps from our front door. And the living room is a first impression. <laughs> Wave dash. Ours had white carpet and Celeste the all over of again. My mother's most treasured collectibles. That room represented the sacrifices of generations gone by who, by poverty or by policy, couldn't That's afford my, a curio. My book on the table let alone a middle is right over there. Put them in. That room had to stay perfect. Yeah, I feel like the secret to that, wow, is the uh, the jump. Like you basically have to jump up, and then assault shield almost instantly, or else you're gonna fall. Here I am, wearing what I want. Yeah, kind of like that. And I'm not skinny. All right, CC. CC was the only reason I got through this one. Full body photo, dating app, not skinny. How will you? Okay. Do? Wow. Okay. If we have CC on uh, the TED Nothing Talk, lights me up more than it's an easy clap. Shouting me out on Instagram and sharing their stories of self confidence. As you embark on your journey of self confidence, I'd like to remind you of one thing. I started my journey because of my desire to stand on stage and do what I want. Okay, so, that's truly I awful. Hey, Rainer. I imagined what my life would look like if that obstacle disappeared. I made a plan to address my perceived obstacle. What in the world? And then I chose to start living the life I imagined. You thought this was an easy clap? It, <laughs> it was for a hot minute. No. No. Have you ever been in a situation where you wanted to do something? I don't know, like walk up to a beautiful girl, be in a huge class, raise your hand and ask a question, contradicting the authority whatsoever. But then raise your hand, you chat. This if this is you. Anxiety, and because of this feeling, you didn't do what you actually wanted to do. Have you experienced this? Raise your hand and say, yep, really loud. Yep. All right, perfect. So last question. Have you ever experienced this? Been in a situation, wanted to do something, then you were anxious, scared whatsoever, but you still did it and experienced one of two things. Either it was not as scary as you thought, or not scary. you did it over and over again, and at one point you were not nervous at all anymore. Have you experienced this? Raise your hand and say, yep, really loud. Okay, I'm gonna right, say I am exactly in the camp of the just do it over and over about. again. And most specifically, my whole talk will evolve around the question on how to become more confident. And more specifically, how to overcome social anxieties, how to stop caring what other people might think about you, and basically, how you can do in your own life what you want to do and not be held back by fear. Hey, what's going on, Muslima? And, um, even though it's the beginning of my talk, I already have an answer for you. And the answer to all those questions is to lay down on the street for 30 seconds. Yeah, so obviously there's a lot more to it. And over lay the next down minutes, in the street for 30 seconds. How I actually seconds. arrived at this conclusion. And to some biggest stand, it's my own story. So it involves my own insecurities. How is that going to help coaching, me get through happiness and content at the end? And of just course, getting over it. laying down the street for 30 seconds. So this story basically begins as far back as I can remember. And I was always kind of like confident, outgoing. You know, okay. I was playing basketball professionally. Who back is in this? High school. This All is Till. Also professional basketball players. Till is going to so help us get through this next section. Kids. And others would definitely also describe me as confident, outgoing. But how it felt on the inside was often pretty different. So there were like a handful of situations. There we go. Where okay, we Till. Really nervous or even I hear you. And now, Till, if you can help me with this portion, more, more successful, I'd be and thought, ecstatic. I would get shy and even insecure. And this was because I had this huge fear of rejection, huge fear of not being cool, or being exposed as weak. <laughs> being and this exposed kind of fear right now. On the one at avoidance. So often avoided situation where I might appear uncool. For example, if I would be invited to a big party and I didn't know anybody, I wouldn't go there because there might pop up a situation 
or would stand all by myself for like a minute or two, talk to nobody, and people would look at me and think, hey, this guy's uncool. Oh nobody my god, or that is the I, worst. Drag my friends along, so I always had somebody to talk to. So <laughs> Just do it. The thing would also That's the actual it. TED talk. So I didn't do it and kind of like dragged along this whole thing. Right? Thirty second long um, TED talk. School, Just do it. I quit playing basketball because I broke my arm. I couldn't play anymore. And then I started to get into psychotherapy and coaching because I was kind of interested in it. And while I was playing basketball, I learned if you want to become really good in something, what should you do? You should try to learn from the best. So I applied this lesson okay. that I learned in basketball to psychotherapy and coaching. So I went through whole Europe and tried to learn from the best psychotherapists and coaches. If I can just so I not events, go into the freaking I was going to conferences, walk out energy. to like the most important guy, shake his hand, say, hey, my name is Till. There we go. I would like to learn okay. from what this meant was, I'm with I was you literally too. confronted with my fear of rejection all the time. And back then I was thinking, hey, if there would be a good point of time to get all this fear of oh, rejection, no. I would do right now. This one, Ironically, or this is GG, I think. Exactly at this time, I heard about comfort zone <laughs> challenges for the first time. Uh, back then no. I read it in Tim Ferriss for work week and he described it as no. a technique to, you know, for example, if you're afraid of rejection, no. one of the challenges you can do is you go out and try to get rejected 10 times as fast as possible. Get rejected so 10 times as fast as possible. As as you can and walk that sounds to the terrible. To embarrass yourself a bit in public. The idea behind it is you do it over and over again, and at one point, you stop caring what other people might think. I mean, me, even if cool. Why? Because you get, I could get over my fear of rejection. Like you do it as fast right? as possible. So I look deep into psychology. I'm pretty sure getting rejected 10 times as quickly well, as you can is awful every single time. So cognitive behavioral therapy. Yeah, good job everybody out there the who's system, also doing uh, getting over system, it. For whatever reason, learned pulling. You put yourself in the situation, you get anxious, scared, whatsoever, and you stay in there. That section anxiety, scares step -step me decreases. for some reason. And the autonomic nervous system learns, hey, the situation is actually not scary. Okay. So this is the process how you become more confident. And yeah, that me, situation went, hey, was that not that scary. Good. Now that I so think I about it. So I decided to start doing comfort zone challenges. Mm -hmm. And I have very, very vivid memories of my now first comfort this. zone challenge. And it was a Thursday when I committed myself to do start to uh, to do comfort zone challenges. This looks awful. And with most things, you know, when you commit to do something, what do you say? I will start tomorrow. So with Thursday, I said, okay, I will start tomorrow. The same day, Thursday afternoon. Oh I was my going god, I have to do this again. Waiting for my train around five o'clock. Rush hour, people everywhere. So I was standing there waiting for the train, and I was thinking, wow, I'm gonna lay down here on the floor for thirty seconds tomorrow. That's the priest. At least I can like. And when my train arrived, about face. I was thinking, hey, why should I do? Like, if I'm pretty sure I can't do it. And the I just started pondering. You have the chance to leave. Boom, two things. Yeah, happened. you have to do it quickly hand, after. That's what I was saying is that you have to do it as soon as you jump. Sweaty. It was kind of hard to swallow. This on the one hand. Other hand. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like 99% oh, really, really sure cool there is no. Like, your friend is waiting at home. The floor is so the dash and so on and so on. After the first one. So I was standing there, you know, kind of like torn in between. On the one hand, I wanted to do it. On the other hand, the excuses and the fear. Okay. So what did I say? I said, you know, my train was going to say, fuck it, I would do it tomorrow. So I walked oh, towards the train. We don't use that language around here, step, Till. I had this epiphany. Holy this crap. Aha moment. Till trying so to get us off like the uh, PG rating. Before, but now I really understood it. Because this fear will always be there. And those really good excuses will always be there. So if I allow this set of rationalizations okay. and this fear to hold me back now, I will never do it, you know? So I put okay. down my bag, turn around. Till we're doing it. Lay down. I was honest you guys, I was I'm terrified. laying on that so freaking down, concrete like Till racing. wanted us to do. And then I noticed three things. The first thing was, of course, I got a lot of weird looks. People walking past me, giving me weird looks. There was uh, even one mom with a kid. The kid wanted to walk to me because it was interesting. The mom pulled away. Don't go next to the strange dude. But I, also I didn't do it. That all those weird looks. So are not scary the thought. <laughs> this is for real. The thing that Hope your day that is well. Really loving this mod. Because I knew what I was doing. I'm loving it too, Ken. A this is a pleasant floor, surprise. Right? I actually and didn't think that I noticed it was could the majority be of the people difficult. Didn't even care. Didn't not even to say that you so know me, dead cells is easy or anything like that. But I wasn't sure if there was enough mechanics in this game to make this really complex. And I think yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised at this. Went home, looked out the window with a big smile on my face. So that was my first comfort zone challenge ever. 
And okay. from then on, I made a list of all my fears and step by step tackled all my fears. And some went away. My quite goodness, fast. do I really to have to? Then I Get your F's ready, then decided, everybody. Hey, it helped me, it helped my friends. Say goodbye, so though, the, the star over. Comfort zone okay, and let's look. If we, we fail, so it's right here. Give them piece of advice if we fail, we have to go left. Like, bigger whatever bigger. you do, exactly. just go left. Save, state, enable, F8. To step out of their comfort zone, tackle their fear, and become more confident. And here's oh. just some example of people from all over the world. We did it. The laying down okay. Challenge. So this is a guy from Singapore. This is a guy from London. This is Berlin. This oh, this Vienna. This is oh no, um, this is somewhere <laughs> okay. in Europe. This Vienna as well. Uh, get me out. Kardashian, Vienna. So this whole thing from me, you know, confronted with my own fears of rejection. This is kind of cool. Step grew bigger and bigger into this international movement. And from all those things, from all those helping others to cross their comfort zone and crushing my own comfort zone, okay. I learned three things. And the first uh, thing that I learned was. If you consciously do comfort zone challenges over and over again, <laughs> you get in the habit of doing the uncomfortable thing. And you know, with most things in life, are you all like getting this, comfortable yet, chat? You want to achieve, and between you and the thing, there's a certain discomfort. You know, you want to have a great body. I'm feeling a little you comfortable. You want to be smart? You need to study. We're stream readers. I said 8:30. I learned exclamation point the title to ignore the excuses because no, most of the time you have good excuses not to do the thing right and the second thing is I learned to go through this discomfort oh my so I swear I had that, that bleeds into other areas the second thing they learned was that my relationship to fear completely changed oh that was so a lot of people walk up to me <laughs> that say, was hey, awful it's a comfort zone crusher so you still have event time and we're not grinding zone. we're grinding uh human being, of course, dead cells getting zone. over it and obviously comfort zone challenges is not a magic pill so you will not always immediately get over everything and you clench every time. time to get over now nah, we're but fine what changed was that nowadays even if I want to do something and between this me looks off certain fear i will still do it so i'm so familiar with fear and Wait, nervousness what? right now it doesn't hold me back anymore and the third thing that i learned was comfort zone challenges gave me a lot of happiness and you might think why they're like stretching your arms in the air running through the, uh, running through the uh, like the hallway or laying down the floor why does it oh happiness? no and i think for two reasons <laughs> on the one hand because a lot of unhappiness that is comes from the worst spot people. And if you start, I needed to try to change my life. Okay. Into something that I and my All right, mother, we back. Wherever she might be, could be proud. We of. back. There's no soft lot. And a yeah. So far, it seems pretty deep inside me. Okay. So after my release from prison, let's look at I the map. So if I fail. I need to go straight because down. I figured what better place can a Oh no, straight down is still like really bad. Black ex convict go. You're breathing? Your wow. heart's been pounding the entire time, right? So needless to say you haven't been thinking. That was kinda weird. Alright, so this part sucks. Now, okay, if I fail, I have to go left. Like as left as possible nice is that now the brain stem is the oldest part of the human brain it goes yep. pretty much back to the cave and that's almost all they oh there's like no healing you though psych fight or flight all in the brain stems very reactive so far so good in the middle of your brain is your limbic system most notoriously known as the emotional processing center this is where oh there's healing right here go right nope. thank you pedro hopefully this is the right that you meant as far as healing goes wouldn't you go as right as possible to stay? We want to be part. Oh yeah, I guess. Well, if I want to do that bit again, yeah, you all are right. You all are correct. So much so that back in 1940, Abraham Maslow him, said that if we don't get that, we can't be our best self. I don't know. It's like natural for me to go left for some reason. The prefrontal cortex here in the front of your brain. This is where all your smarts are. It's where you correlate. I really you wish you make this had wall run though. If this had wall run, this would be like a no brainer. This is where all your confidence lives. You decide on things that you actually value. All right, I'm trying to 
Now one more part See. of the brain that's been talked about in a lot of TED Talks is the amygdala. It's I can't common. jump. Really important. Because the amygdala is responsible as your alarm system. It is looking at the environment to see if you are going to be hurt. I'm sad. Damaged or all the time. Facebook, right? We're looking and we're going, oh man, they're doing something so much cooler than I am. But it's like awful. Oh, you're missing out, FOMO. Definition of insanity. I'm not trying the same thing over and over again with no result. I'm, I feel like I'm changing stuff up. It's just this one right here. Now these villains have this is new. Throw this emotional we haven't figured this part out yet. And there's three types of fear that really rock the amygdala. One is the fear of failure. My brain is also tired. We are changing back into cave. But I do changing back into a caveman <laughs> is that what I heard I I would not doubt that I think that is exactly what's happening to me right now my cerebral cortex is devolving as we speak like I don't know what I want to do here at this section right now seems easy your brain when you consciously you IRL to be confident you <laughs> that neural pathway and you strengthen it. And over time, this is, um, hmm. I don't think you can do a single jump and get, like, high enough above this wall here. Jump off the chain is pixel perfect. <laughs> Luckily, V doesn't read chat. Are you all saying that, uh... Oh, there's, like... Did I go upward? And if we get a win, then I'll be able to continue uh, doing PvP in the background. Oh, this is pretty neat. Okay. So... We gotta go up. There is orange and orange. A sweet, juicy fruit locked within a bitter peel. I hope there wasn't like stuff I should have been reading the whole time. Did I do it first try? I did. I'm not trying to, you know, feel any way about it. I'm just... We got confidence. We were listening to the TED Talks. Hmm. All right, so if we fall, I think we have to go far left. Interesting. Yep. Huh, I messed that up. Uh, I feel like doing this part takes nine years. It's so slow. Like, give me rising lava or something, like in Celeste Core. Okay. Chilling. All right, so this is the farthest we've been. Is like this spot right here. Uh, we know there's a super dash over there. And then somehow you have to assault dash to this ledge. If this was dead cells, it would be unlocked with a skill called perseverance. Why do I keep double jumping? We gotta go left. Wow. I actually forgot where the safety spot was. Wow, I hard committed for that and they gave it to me. That's crazy. Okay, so here we go again. We have to remember, do not double jump. Uh, gonna head out? Okay, uh, Qatar. Glad you're able to stop by. Of course, we aren't doing standard dead cells today. Uh, but happy you were able to catch some of it. Interesting that they have a heal here. Alright, so... 
if I fall, we want to go as far left as possible. Yeah. That's actually... I thought I had that. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't give it to me. I dream for a day that I don't have to do this section again. You kidding me? I can go straight down. <sighs> oh, I knew it. I knew there was zero possibility it lets me through that. All right, here we go again. And we've done this multiple times at the bottom. But for some reason, it was like not participating. Okay. No healing available. This is a PB right here. Oh, crap. Yeah, if I need to heal, you're supposed to go backwards, which is awful. Okay. I wonder what this is over here. There's like a giant maze or something. Okay, I think I need the heal. Okay. Okay. That was fun. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Spider rune. Permanent rune, please. Finally, something. We are finally progressing. Yo, good job, Yoshi. I understand you got the, uh, the pro plays. We're doing our best over here. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Like, all of this stuff I'm kind of okay with. Now comes the hard part. I'm just hoping that the, uh, spider rune makes the, like, ground level pretty much a skip. Oh, okay. I see. I see indeed. Okay. That doesn't seem that bad. Nice. Warning. Do not use this roll space. Okay. I wonder why that's even there. Like thinking of it from like a Mario Maker standpoint, like did they need to do that for some reason? I'm also wondering what happens when I, like, exit the game. Ooh. This is kind of cool. Okay. I like it. Messed it up. It's 
fall a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, wall run. Like this is this is what I need. Doing that whole first section without wall running was like the most Again, I don't want to call it frustrations. Hello? How in the world did I not make that? Okay. Oh, this is where your freaking thumb goes raw. How is he not sticking? You... Oh, please. Like, he wants to stick to it, and then he's just getting rejected. Okay. That's like rubbing my thumb raw right now. Maybe the answer is not letting you hang on the wall, but just jump off as soon as you reach it. Possibly. Maybe dash to the right, jump, then dash to the left. So to show you all what that looks like, it's... Wow. Hang on. I can kind of show it. There's not a lot of opportunity. Oh, that's kind of dangerous. Uh, can you go through the spikes? I'm sure you can't. You cannot. Yo, what's going on, Kage? <laughs> Just get banned for that? No. So we found out why that's there. Uh, it's apparently there if you ever want to test anything ever. You die instantly. Holy smokes. See, I don't even really want to heal myself. These spikes are getting a little painful, though. You die twice. Yeah, do not underestimate the heals, is what Yoshi's saying. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I did do this first try, but I don't know... See how, like, my character didn't go up? There's some momentum involved. Or I must be hitting the wrong buttons. Okay. I don't think that has anything to do with momentum. <laughs> Who put a down button on my controller? A matter of fact, I'm gonna assume that you never ever wanna press down. Uh, during this game mode, like you may as well just disable the down button. What? No, I refuse to put down on a different button. There's zero way that's what I'm supposed to do. I gotta be the only person on the planet that pressed down by mistake. And I am playing directional pad. I am not playing analog stick. Okay. So we're back here. This is the farthest we've been. This is another section 
where unless like mechanically I'm challenged and understanding the ways for some reason my character as far up as I can go refuses to stick like that to me should be a stick um, I've been able to get this only one time Like that to me should have been a stick as well, but for some reason Yeah, for some reason he just d he refuses uh, Hey VW, did you play getting over it at all last night? How far did we get? How long? Is it even? So I don't know how long it is. Uh, our current timing, I'm um, to kind of show everybody, three hours and 38 minutes. I would say like subtract about 45 minutes from that because of Stream Raiders. And this is where we're at right now. So this is the full map. I am hard stuck in one spot. And okay. I will admit it, uh, frustration levels yesterday were, you know, probably about in the yellow, maybe about 35%. Uh, 35% frustration, you know, things happen. My thumbs are a little sore. Uh, and the TED Talks that we had, only about half of them were actually, like, kind of decent. So I was also a little no, tilted no, no. from the TED Talks, too. Frustration levels... We're going to keep them at a minimum. We don't need that kind of activity. TikToks? Absolutely not. Hi, everyone. Two years ago. Hi, Josh. We need that in the background. The priorities change immediately so fast that it makes it really difficult to... It really keeps us grounded. Now, and chat can gain a skill to learn a, a from listening to a TED Talk. About being a parent. Like, for example, how to dress your child. This was new to me. I, 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 this is an actual outfit. I thought this mm. was a good idea. And even Leela knows that it's not a good idea. <laughs> so there was so much to learn and so much huh? craziness all at once. And to add to so the this is the point where I'm at Kelsey right now. This is me like home. being hard stuck. We run our own businesses. So Kelsey is a, uh, uh, develops courses online for yoga teachers. I'm an author. And so I'm Develops working for home. Working for home. online we stuff for yoga teachers. That's not half bad. To, to make sure that yeah, I can see there was a momentum done. kind of deal. And life is really, really, really busy. Let's and go back to the directional pad. A couple weeks into this amazing experience, when the sleep deprivation really kicked in, like around week eight, I had this thought, and it was the same thought that parents... So this section, like I said, we were stuck on thought, which is, for quite a while. I am never going to have free time <laughs> ever again. <laughs> I'm not going to have and any free a, time, it's, Josh, it's doing true. this. Yeah, it's, it's uh, the times exactly you got true, it was when you quickly double really, tap jump. Really true. In that so point. I'm, and you're saying this, I'm this really waiting too long? One of the fiddling around and learning through trial and error and eventually becoming pretty good at something. And I want to get good at this, Josh. This, this free time, I didn't know how I was ever going to do that ever again. And so I'm a big geek. I want to keep learning things. I want, I want to, to learn. Going. No, and how so in the world I, I dodge roll there? Go to the library. Anybody ever heard this? Don't swing 10, the sword. 10,000 hours. If you, want, if you want to learn something new, if you want to be good at it, it's going to take 10,000 hours to get there. I was like, no. See, I don't no, have Josh. time. I don't have the, I don't have ten thousand hours. I am never going to be able to learn anything new ever again. <laughs> but that's not true. So ten thousand hours, just to give you a rough order of magnitude, ten thousand hours is a full time job for five years. This is about to turn into a full time, time job all right had here. The experience of learning something new, and it, it didn't take us anywhere close to that amount of time, right? Okay. So what's up? There's there's something kind of funky going on. Wait, did here. I find? Oh, I thought I found the sweet spot. Expect and have experiences, they they don't match up. And what I found, here's the wrinkle. 
The 10,000 hours I'm falling. came out of studies of okay. expert level performance. There was a professor at Florida State University. His name is Kay Anders Erickson. Josh, I think. Hour rule. And where that came from is he studied. I think we might be athletes, feeling. Okay. World class musicians. <gasps> chess grand and the folks at the josh i don't want to spend too much time on this though Ten thousand hours of practice now we're talking about the game of okay. telephone a little bit earlier here's what happened an author by the name of malcolm gladwell wrote a book uh in 2007 called outliers the story of success and the centerpiece of that book was the 10,000 hour rule practice a lot practice well and you will do it and it's now. like my thumb is actually getting raw from that three solid it's so skill i know it looks kind of funky but like josh says it just takes ten thousand hours to become good at something which became it takes ten thousand hours to learn i did it again oh my god i i keep hitting the down button i think i'm the only person on the planet what the research that hits the down button if, if I, while I doing this i don't know what it is i don't know if i need like a xbox controller am i am i at a disadvantage of skill acquisition for using ps4 josh do you have a xbox controller i can borrow researchers whether they're studying for those who don't know josh is the uh who we're listening to right now they like to study quick little bit of practice is all it takes chat it's really fast and then at a certain point, you reach a plateau, and the subsequent gains become much harder to get. They take more time. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Now, my question is, I want that, right? How Josh is the only way I got through that. There's people out there using the 8-bit dough. Um, so how dope. long does that take? Here's what my research says. 20 hours. 20 hours, Josh? You can go from knowing nothing about any skill that you can think of. Want to learn a language? Want to learn how to draw? Want to learn how to juggle flaming chainsaws? If you put 20 hours of focused, deliberate practice into that thing, you will be astounded. Astounded. I don't know if I want to do this for 20 hours, Josh. I know no offense. That's about 45 minutes a day for about a month. Even skipping a couple days here and there. 20 hours isn't that hard to this is like weird now because like i'm not double jumping okay i did the double jump then there's a way to practice efficient i wonder if i should try a wave dash is to deconstruct the skill decide exactly what you want to be able to do when you're done and then look into the skill and break it down into smaller and smaller pieces most no, that's like that unnecessary. Think of as skills, okay, I just wanted to try that. Big he said, break it apart. Courses could be anything. We got spikes, but don't we got a platform. He a said, you can practice the platform for 20 topics. hours I, I know I do and so master I it. Get like 20 books about the topic. It's like, I'm going to start learning. How and then you start dissecting that, the double jump. When I complete these if you can do the double so jump, that's procrastinating. see? What you want to do is learn just enough it's that you can actually wow okay self correct i think josh is right edit as you practice so the learning becomes a way of wait uh, okay that guy screws you up when you're making a mistake the hours now most skills have what i call a frustration barrier you know the grossly incompetent frustration part. barrier that's really really frustrating we don't like to feel stupid and feeling stupid is a barrier to us actually sitting down and doing the work so by pre-committing to practicing whatever it is that you want to do i feel like the shield's unnecessary right as it turns out playing the ukulele is is kind of like doing anything there's a very small set of things that are really important and techniques that you yeah use all the time I, it it can be done so, i'm pretty sure but i don't songs, know if it's like worth it to really that's put it. that that's into practice you right now to i'm gonna assume there's a point like higher up where sure so while I was Shield doing gets research, used. I found a, uh, a wonderful little medley of, of pop songs. But we're going to worry about that later. All right, we got Ivan back. And parents would always come to me and they'd say, 
okay, uh, my son or my daughter wants to come play at your university. What is it that we have to do? Um, you know, I even helped us out and in the beginning. I even got us through some hard times and Dead Cells climbing over it. Yeah, we've been at this for not this specific section, but we've been at Dead Cells climbing over it. Hopefully I won't run out of time. I don't use any slides. Oh, I had the invulnerability. So we'll see which way. Oh, no. The easiest way to build. What in the world was that jump? Petition, repetition, right? What does Malcolm Gladwell call it? Uh, the 10,000 hours. Oh, okay. I recruited a goalie from Columbus. That's Columbia. clean. I like that. Uh, big, tall, six foot three. Uh, can you shield mid? Uh, yeah, you can, but it's like not. I, I don't think it's worth it Every in the beginning the ball, section. Down, down like right ground, here. It's like, oh my God, we're in trouble. Simple solution. Get to the wall, kick a ball against the wall and catch it. Kick the ball against the wall and catch it. His goal was 350 a day for eight months. Oh. Uh. came back. His hands were calloused. The moisture on his hands were literally gone. He is okay, we gotta heal. Magic. <laughs> you go down to eight health. Repetition, 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 repetition. repetition. After the first bit of failure. How many of us bail after the first bit of adversity? You all don't bail that quickly, right? And depends who you ask. There's anywhere from 1,000 to 10,000 tries to build that light bulb. 1,000 to 10,000. J.K. Rowling should be failure. Maybe it shouldn't be repetition. Do not the accept failure. I did not know I could do that. Really will persist. So that's one way to build self-confidence. Get out there. Do what you want to do and accept Ow. Do not accept no. The other Ow. Is talk. We all have 24 health. Take the plays in our head. Anybody go shopping and put on a pair of pants this week? If you're okay. Woman, the first thing that always comes to take. Does this improve your actual dead cell skill? I want to say no. At least not mine. It might improve you all skill, but not my skill. Right? If you're in the when I let me tell you something, and the VP of Business Administration oh. shouldn't repeat this, but when they hired me as an athletic director, I sat in an architect's meeting. Crap! And I, I panicked. Dumb as a host. I needed to go down a little bit. And they're like, the uh, fundamentalator valve of the I, uh, architectural... How does that happen, uh, chat? We had our own self-affirmations. Muhammad Ali, what was his self-affirmation? I, am, I the am the greatest. greatest. That's right, Dr. Ivan. Who else is going to tell you? No! You need to be quiet, more take care, right? Okay. Oh, crap. This, and then cover the I didn't react fast and enough. If that's the baseline, improvement of the Kansas State team went like this. But then... They said they ignored okay. all of that, and they just showed them the times they did it right. Okay. The times they did it perfect. Oh. No Wait, that's the end? No, that can't be the end. This guy be trolled. Don't go in. With our student athletes. We can apply that to the business world. We can apply that to our student group works. Not yet. Okay, we're going in. Screw it. <laughs> There's no way. Last and certainly not least. My son is really good at this. Self-confident people. If you're in this room, you either beat the game or somehow died while more than halfway through or just started but didn't read the instructions. If you beat the game, congrats. There's literally no reward. If you died more than halfway through, slow the heck down. There's literally no reason to die with how much healing I gave you. That's the devs talking right now. If you just started and have no idea why you're here, you have to play on new save. Yeah, so we actually saw this part. Right? I'm that I'm that guy. I'm like I remember when I'm I that my, guy. I, Just I like Ivan said, we instilled <laughs> confidence in ourselves. <laughs> Yo, between Ivan and who was that? Josh earlier? Yeah, I should have just been spamming these two all day yesterday. Holy smokes. We did it. <laughs> we we beat Dead Cells getting over it. Took me not four hours. Uh, again, there's a timer behind me. 410. Uh, I would say we did stream raiders for probably like an hour of that. So I'd say it probably took us three hours total to do it. Went from kid to dat dude. Dat bruh. Love it. But yo, let's go. Cross another one off the bell. Never to go back again. You, I am uninstalling these mods real quick.